Hi everyone, it's Casey Williams. About a year ago, we tested the Lexus LC500, the high-end sport coupe, and that car is just an absolute beautiful rolling art gallery. But it also costs $100,000, and it has two doors, and you know, two people really only fit comfortably. So we thought, you know, what if there was a car that was about half that price, a little less than half that price, in fact, with four doors, room for four real people, but still a lot of the stylish features we liked on the LC. Well, we have that car for you today. It's the ES350 F Sport. Let's go have a look at it. Well, while the basic bones of the ES are shared with the Camry, you'd never know that by looking at our 2019 F Sport. Completely redesigned for 2019 and the sportiest version of the car. Now, you can get the ES with the classic luxury look, more of a chrome look on the front of it, but I really like the way the, the sport package looks on this car. And some of the things that kind of make it stand out, the black mesh grille, the black chrome around it, LED headlamps, and again, I really like this aggressive zigzag look on the front. Just kind of gives us some character. And you come around the side of the car, the dark alloy, 19-inch alloy wheels, also unique to the F-Sport package. And just some of the other styling details. You know, the two-tone mirrors, black on top, body color with the chrome between. It looks really nice. The window line, again, it, it's kind of sporty, but also, you know, classically elegant, too. And then come around the back, and you really kind of get that look from the LC and also the LS flagship sedan in the Lexus lineup. The way the tail lamps kind of come out, edgy, the black chrome around here again. Kind of the diffuser look down below, twin exhaust outlets. Again, I think this looks very aggressive. And the one I think is unique to the F Sports is spoiler. So, you know, you, again, this is a car that's very similar to a Camry, you know, at its, at its basic core, but just looks so much more aggressive, so much sportier, and just so much, for, so much more fun to look at. Well, if you're hoping for a super high horsepower engine in this car, you're going to be sadly mistaken. But the engine that it does have is perfectly suitable for this car. It's a 3.5 liter V6, generates 302 horsepower, and that's enough to get this front wheel drive car from 0 to 60 in 6.6 .6 seconds. So that's no performance is going to light the world on fire. But for a comfy mid-sized sedan, that's more than adequate. The good part about the smaller engine in this car is fuel economy. 22 miles per gallon in the city, 33 miles per gallon on the highway, partly helped by the 8-speed automatic transmission. So you get a car that's peppy enough for what it is and really decent gas mileage for a mid-sized luxury car. One of my favorite parts of the LC Luxury Coupe was its interior. It really did look like an art gallery. It has this nice glassy panel goes across it with this textured material behind it. You know, and the, the door handle is just kind of sitting in this suede panel. It's just really beautiful, very exquisite design. But the designers did a lot of those touches in this car. And again, keeping in mind this car is less than half the price of the LC Luxury Coupe. But you still kind of get that feeling in it. I think that's really nice. Nice big glassy panel here. It's a 12.3 inch screen. The analog clock kind of behind the, the plastic panel here. Again, just looks very, very nice. And being the F-Sport package, you know, it's an, it's an aluminum look trim on the dashboard and metal here instead of the wood grain. Kind of the black finish here in the middle as well. Again, just gives it kind of a sportier appearance. Some of the other features that are unique to the F-Sport, nice thick leather wrapped steering wheel, the thick seats, you know, kind of wrap around you, aluminum pedals. And this car also has a heads-up display, so you're looking out in front of you with the speedometer and tack. I think very nice features. Um, seats are heated, seats are also cooled, heated steering wheel. And they're finally starting to figure out their infotainment systems. You know, I've kind of griped in the past about how hard it is to use their controller. So they basically have, you know, a touchpad here that controls a cursor up on the screen. It kind of goes through the, there's maps there, navigation, go back to it. Audio, phone settings, setup, and then climate controls over on the far right. So those icons are pretty easy to use. What's really kind of not so easy to use is the touchpad as you're trying to go down the highway and drive the car. I wish there were just buttons or you could do it by voice, and you actually can do it by voice. And the designers actually done added some buttons down below so you can touch it if you want to. So dual zone automatic climate control, you can adjust it here, set the fan set settings if you want to. And I also like what they did with the knobs. And it's a good example of, you know, you can be stylish and still be practical. So the volume knobs on the top, and then the, ins or the outside knob here is for tuning. I think it's pretty easy. you got seat buttons here as well. So however you want to do it, you can do it. And this car has a 10-speaker Pioneer audio system. Sounds great. you got the sunroof. And it's just really a pretty comfortable place to be. The 3.5 liter V6, you know, it's not overly powerful. Like I said, it has 302 horsepower. That's enough in a car like this, especially a front drive. You know, really a car that's derived from a family sedan. That's enough power in this car. But what you notice is, you know, it's typical Lexus quiet, the comfort, 
you just drive it back and forth, you know, in city traffic, you don't hear anything, the engine just does its stuff. On the highway, running whatever speed you want to run, it's just quiet and peaceful. So I think that's very, very nice in this car. But again, with the F-Sport package, it has some nice features too that you can change. So like the LC, you can change the driving modes with the knob up here on the, up here on the instrument cluster. So it's kind of a normal right now, which is sort of the normal touring mode. Um, it'll adjust the suspension from, from you know, very comfortable to firm, um, throttle the same way from you know, not very aggressive to very aggressive, and then also it'll tighten up the steering in the sport modes. So all you gotta do is just change the knob here, there's Sport Plus, stiffens up the steering and then suspension a little bit, and then Sport, sport S Plus, it actually changes the instrument cluster too a little bit. It makes it a little more aggressive, a little sportier looking. Back And then the echo mode just makes the throttle a lot less sensitive to save fuel. If you went back to normal mode, just press the button, it goes right back. This car also has a lot of safety systems on it, as you might expect. It's got, it's got radar adaptive cruise control, it's got the forward collision alert and crash mitigation system on it, lane keep assist, lane departure warning, blind spot warning, rear cross path detection pretty much the full suite of the active safety systems on the car. So you feel very safe driving it. But you really don't feel you know, overwhelmed with technology. You realize it's there, but you don't get feel overwhelmed. Heads up displays out in front, kind of hovering over the hood. I've got it set up right now, the speedometer and the tachometer and navigation. And it works in conjunction again with the, with the screen and the touchpad down below. But overall, it's just a really peaceful car to be in. You know, the suspension does a nice job of soaking up the bumps, as you expect. Out on the highway, it just rides very comfortably. Again, it's not a sports sedan. If you want that, you know, the Lexus makes the GS. It's about the same size as rear drive or all-wheel drive. That's a lot more aggressive attitude. You want know, some little smaller and sporty, you get the Lexus IS. Or if you're really going to go full luxury, you know, go get the LS sedan and enjoy that too. The Lexus ES has always been a comfortable and well-engineered car, but it just wasn't terribly exciting. But I think in this generation, redesigned for 2019, taking a lot of the design cues from the LS flagship sedan and the LC luxury coupe, I think they've really done a nice job with making it a lot more exciting, especially in the F-Sport package with the unique wheels and the grille and the spoiler on the back. I like the blue color on this particular car, and I like the understatedness of the interior in the sports seats as well. So they created a car that's just as comfortable and as well engineered as any ES in the past, and everything you'd ever want on a car, but a car you're just a lot more proud to own, I think, if you're really a driving enthusiast. Well, let's talk about price for just a second. So the car starts at $39.5. This one, as it is, $44,035. So I think we compare that to other cars in this class, I think it's a pretty fair value. Well, next week we'll have another fun car. Until then, storm forward.